Okay, what is going on folks? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna make this intro super quick because we're already here at the lake. Um, didn't film an intro this, this morning because it was like five, uh, but that's all good. So we're filming one now here with Luke today. Luke, say what's up. What's up? What's up guys? He said exactly what I thought he was gonna say. Um, and so yeah, we're at a very, very grassy lake here. There's grass literally everywhere. Um, there's a few kayaks out already. They beat us, they beat us to it. But right now we're literally on NC State University. Uh, it's a pond here, or really a lake. It's pretty big. Uh, good kayak fishing lake and we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, we got plenty of daylight here It's pretty cold this morning, which is a good thing and uh, yeah summer fishing action should be pretty good Hopefully keep our fingers crossed, but uh, yeah without further ado. Let's get straight on the water you can grab a paddle if you want. Nah, you go, go ahead. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm good Okay. Oh yeah, it is grass in the bottom. What yeah. the hell? Literally everywhere. That's nasty. I know. But it's good grass though. It's like hydrilla. Yeah. Are these like feeders here? Like catfish or something? What? Are those like feeders? Feeders? Like catfish feeders? Uh, I, I don't know. Probably. Oh yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. Look at that swim jig in action, man. It does not get any better than that, honestly. I think the swim jig is one of the most versatile, one of the most, one of the, just one of the coolest, best feeling baits to throw sometimes. It looks cool, it feels cool when you catch a fish on it. It's aggressive, you can fish it finesse, fish on the bottom, it's like such a versatile bait. And this water is really clear so you can just see the movement. Really, really cool man. That's why I love throwing a swim jig so much, it's just such an iconic bass fishing bait in my opinion. That and like a crankbait, like two of the most iconic baits. I'm trying to get away from the grass as much as possible right now I can, I mean right now looking from a a realistic standpoint there's no reason for these bass to be close to grass it's not hot out it's early morning they're not really in a you know a, a stay still sort of mood they're gonna be moving around looking to get some breakfast so it wouldn't make any sense for them to be hunked up in some grass right now it's at 7 a.m. <clears throat> in a, a lake that doesn't even have that the water is really not even that hot I mean, in fact it's actually pretty cool it's like really cool. It's like what you'd expect in the spring. I'm not even gonna lie. I completely forgot to bring my sunglasses. There we go. That's our first fish of the day. It's a freaking tiny one. Oh my goodness, you are a dinkus. Dink McGee. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Man, he destroyed that freaking bait. Oh, it's out. There's our first fish of the day. See you later, buddy. All right, well, skunk's off the board, but is it really, though? I mean, think about it. Is it really? Buddy. You need help? Bro, I just want to check on you, see how you're doing. You catch anything yet? Just one little dinker. Dinker, what are you catching on? Uh, freaking Stanko. Stanko? Yep. Wacky? Yep. Yeah, I caught one, like, two and a half pounder on the frog out here in the middle. Well, that's all, that's all I've got so far. That's the only bite I've had. I keep seeing shad. You didn't tell me there was shad in here. If you would have told me that, I probably would have switched my presentation up. Is there actually shad in here, though? They're everywhere. Shut you it. just really got to you gotta pick it apart, I guess. Yeah, I'm just trying to fish the bank. I'm trying to fish wood, but I really can't yeah, find I fished, any. I fished the banks the whole time, the first, like, on my, on my way over here from the start, and I didn't get a single bite. And then once I came out here in the middle, I caught one, like, my fifth cast. You try that cove back over there? Where at? Like, where I'm faced? Like, there's, like, uh, a little cove, cove over there. Yeah, I tried that. I tried them shallow over there. I 
That's a fish. There we go. Another little guy. Another little guy. Jeez, he's a fighter though. He's a freaking fighter. Alright. Get up here. There's our second fish of the day. Hope I'm filming. Probably not. Look at that hook set. Right in the top of the yap there. Right where you want it. Second fish of the day. Slight upgrade from the last one. But really nothing to brag about. I think this guy still probably isn't even a pound. Alright, well, there's our second fish of the day. Uh, that guy was probably about 15 ounces. He was like just barely below a pound. <laughs> I mean, it is an upgrade, but it's an upgrade at what cost? So, yeah, not bad. That's two fish on the board. There we go. That's a fish. Oh my god, another little guy. I'm not gonna lie, I was spacing out there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell or not. Look at look at the way I'm landing this fish. Uh, I was spacing out right there. I'm not even gonna lie. I was completely spacing out, <laughs> thinking about something. And then I saw my line dart out, or I felt it. Okay, and the fish is gone. <sighs> Quick release, that was my third fish of the day. Uh, I'll be honest, I can't act surprised when I catch dinks. If I'm only fishing a Senko, I mean, right now I'm, I'm looking for numbers, which is what I'm kind of getting. But yeah, I mean, I'm fishing a Senko right now, so I can't expect anything other than, you know, dinky little fish. I mean, it's, it is what it is. So far, our biggest was our second fish. I got kind of came out of nowhere. No, it kind of came out of nowhere. Quick release on them. Right now I'm fishing. So this little stru this structure is weird. We've got grass along the bank right here as well as some wood. And if you guys see to the right of me, there's also a grass mat right here. So I'm fishing what I would like to call a channel uh, of deep water where these two grass mats and then over there. It's just this deep water where there's some hydrilla on the bottom and I'm just kind of casting on top of that in between these, these two grass mats, these two big grass mats. And I'm just fishing pretty deep. And it's actually it seems to be working pretty good. I got another bite before this as well that I wasn't able to land. But uh, yeah. That's a fish. No, it's not. I thought it was. Dude, that was a freaking fish. Look at my, my bandito bug. got absolutely torn up. Two appendages missing and plus the bottom appendage. So that means it was a fish. That, it, that bit it. Got like a I lost a big one deep and then I decided to come back shallow. What did you catch him on? I, I caught everything on my wacky rig. And then I lost like a probably a pretty good one on this this guy. Were you catching him like in the middle of the grass? You know, like way back in that corner over there. Yeah. There's like a grass mat, and then the bank, and I was fishing in that little channel in between. A little, like, gap. There's like a yeah, there's a weird gap. Really? I was fishing there. Did you catch anything like out in the middle of the lake? No, just one bite. Just one bite. Yeah. I was just throwing this like in between all the grass. Really? Just punching it through, and I actually got like, a pretty. The only one I caught that came on the frog was like right out in the middle of the grass. Oh wow. Yeah. Then I have like a little punchy rig on here. Yeah. Throwing that the grass. Yeah. Any luck in the frogs today? Uh, I got one. Really, nice. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I'll just be here. Um, well, um. It's a few days after, It's right now it's Wednesday. We fished on Monday, uh, so it's a couple days after. I didn't film an outro on that day uh, because I just didn't. So here's my outro. Right now I'm actually at school. I'm about to attend a class uh, in about 30 minutes or so. So I decided I would just pop this camera out real quick, film an outro I'm gonna be filming today anyways. So here's my outro. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you did stick around for the whole thing, thank you guys so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And yeah, it's gonna be all for today's video. We caught three fish. Luke caught two, we caught five fish in total on this day wasn't terrible uh it's late summer fishing sometimes late summer fishing is a little sketch is a little iffy uh so it's, it's, it wasn't the best but uh you can't really argue with five fish on a, on a nice beautiful morning so that's that i'm gonna be filming an mtb slam video here actually uh pretty soon i don't know if i'm gonna film that today if i'm gonna film something else. i actually don't know what i'm filming today but i know you guys will see an mtb slam video here pretty soon maybe a google maps video something like that uh, i've been testing around with with some ideas for now though that is gonna be all appreciate you guys so much for watching 
And yeah, there's really not much else I could say. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.